Hey beautiful people, I hope you are keeping safe and well. Welcome to my YouTube channel. For those who I haven't met before, I'm Emma Ryder, Psychic Medium and Divine Channeler. And this is the weekly Capricorn reading. Please bear in mind that all of my readings are timeless and you'll find the guidance that is right for you when you need to hear it, whether that is today, next week, next month, trust in divine timing. Okay, so for the first part of the reading, we're gonna use the Inner Child Tarot deck because everybody needs to feel, find a bit of their inner child at the moment, I feel. And for the extended reading, I'm going to use the Light Seer Tarot and some other Oracle cards. Okay, so Capricorn, what do you need to know this week? Let's have a look and see. I feel like there's an element of, I suppose, things moving forwards for you, Capricorn. But at the same point, it's like, it's a struggle as you're pulling yourself out of that old way of being because I feel like things are moving forward and things are happening and materializing in the physical for you but it feels like I want to say there's something anchoring you back what's anchoring you back what are you scared of that's what I would ask yourself that feels important Okay, let's have a look at the cards. Let's give us some more clarification. The first card out is the Five of Hearts. There's definitely a need to dig deep, look within. And really discover where those fearful I'm not sure energies are coming from because it's like that energy is battling with the energy which is moving forwards and you all need to be moving forwards but there's half of you stuck and there's half of you moving it's very you need to get back in alignment Capricorn and that might be as easy as I'm not saying it's easy but taking time to reconnect with yourself, taking time to listen to your heart, taking time to look within. Okay, there's definitely inner things which are holding you back, but it feels like they've probably been locked away for a long while. Okay. Then we have the Nine of Wands, which is very much where you're at now because you're looking forward and half of you is moving forwards. The rest of you is being held back and you're just having to creep open that gate, creep open the gate, the lock to your heart, to go through that transformation where we've got the butterflies, to really move forward fully. Because there's just, you're dragging behind a little. It's a funny energy, okay? Then we've got the big bad wolf card. I want to say this is a past person. There's a past person and even, I don't feel they're physically in your life anymore. I feel they're having, they're still attached energetically to you, which is holding you back, which is not helping you feel in the moment. It's like you're scared of feeling in the moment. You're scared of moving forwards. But I feel like this fear is coming from this person's energy and the attachment to you. Um, it's like the it's like they're grabbling at your energy, and that's maybe how they were when they were physically in your life. They were. I feel like this was an energy draining person, person that squished your energy, sucked the life out of you. And you've been fighting to get that life back. And now you're at that point where you are getting that life back and you're feeling it. But then there's a part of you stopping yourself from feeling it fully because of this person's energy. And I want to say it's really time to leave them in the past now. It's really time to leave them behind once and for all. Okay. 
because you're moving forwards to happier times to where your hopes and dreams are materializing and I really do feel they're they're nearly there they're part way there of materializing in front of you and it's very much um It's this which is dampening the feeling of this happening. That lower energy is dampening down the energy, is dampening down the feelings which you should be feeling if you allowed yourself to fully feel with your heart. It's time to let go of the past once and for all. I feel like that's your major thing holding you back okay then we've got the eight of swords and i'm not saying that you have not let go of a massive lot but i feel like this what is materializing in your life the changes you are going through is bringing these fears to the surface again so it's that last let go okay then we've got the eight of swords which is very much clearing out the darkness clearing out this 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 feels a real real sticking point really something which has been struggled struggling with for a long time but now it's time okay and the eight of swords is letting go of that and allowing their light into your life again because you deserve it and you are worthy of it and it's really time to embrace life and feel life again and that is what is happening you're just going through that process and it's feeling tiring it's feeling exhausting it's feeling difficult but you can do it okay we then have the yellow brick road card so your hopes and dreams which are manifesting I feel there's different things in different areas of your life but a big one which is being affected by this person is your love life and your person being together moving in the same direction wanting the same things feeling very different than the relationships you have been in the past where there's been not so much give and take not so much balance this this relationship really is manifesting it's becoming your reality so it's time to fully let go of this energy which is holding you back you can do it i have 100 percent faith in you remember ask your spiritual team for all the help you need they are there and take the time you need for you okay beautiful people i'm going to head over to the extended reading now to find out more information and clarification about this relationship which is coming and yeah let's get some more info if this is where you leave me then thank you so very much for joining me as always it is a pleasure Please do take care, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Namaste. Bye.